you've got a greater likelihood of getting struck by lightning than you do of getting a blood clot from the Johnson and Johnson vaccine. Now, let me put this in perspective. The risk of a blood clot from birth control pills is one in 1,000, and it's considered a low-risk side effect. Our government is doing a terrible job selling people and getting the vaccine. The government is doing a bad job here. Dr. Fauci goes on television and says, well, people are concerned about the rush of the risks. We want to be transparent. We want to tell them what's going on. You know, what you do is you don't come out and say, whoa, you might die from the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. We're going to put a put a pause on it so we can tell everybody. You know what that does is it tells everybody, oh, my God, they really did rush everything out. Uh, we better not get the vaccine. The, the idea that the government uh, doctors, the, the, the so-called experts, they come in out and tell everyone, well, actually, this one could kill you. You got a one in a million chance. We better stop it. That sends a big red flag that, oh, my gosh, did they rush everything? Did they rush them all? I'm, I'm seeing people who were skeptical to begin with in many cases, but not all of them. Some of them genuinely had been supportive of the vaccine. They're like, maybe they really did rush it. Maybe the critics are right. There is what's called the wall of want, a term I didn't even know existed until yesterday, that uh, at, at some point you hit a wall, uh, you get everybody who wants the vaccine gets there. And in order to get more people to get the vaccine, to get herd immunity, you got to move the wall of want to further back. So more people want the vaccine. And right now we're running up to this wall of want where all the people who wanted it have gotten it and it's still not enough to get us to herd immunity. And now the government is freaking people out with stuff like this. It's it's terrible. And uh, they're, they're causing greater skepticism and alarm. Here's a little more from Fauci. A pause not only allows us to take a look at the cases and learn more, but it is also a signal out there to help the physicians. A uh, common question, and I'm sure we'll have a number of questions which Jeff and I will be happy to answer to you, but one of the questions that comes up already rather frequently, does this have anything to do with the efficacy of the vaccine? So we know that there have been 6.85 million doses of J&J &J distributed in the United States thus far. So someone who maybe had it a month or two ago would say, what does this mean for me? It really doesn't mean anything. You're OK, because if you look at the frame, the time frame, when this occurs, it's pretty tight from a few days, six to 13 days from the time of the vaccination. And there have been six people. More, almost seven million doses administered, 6.9 million doses now. And only six people have gotten this. And now you've panicked the country and probably risked people refusing to get the vaccine.